Okay, seventh grade, um, lesson 13. This one is on problems about equal groups. Now, we talked about um, addition word problems, subtraction word problems, and today's is going to be multiplication word problems. Okay, so for example, um, help me come up with the, um, the important key information, okay? Juanita packed 25 marbles in each box. That's probably important. 25 marbles in each box. I'm going to write that down. In each. That's going to become important in just a minute. Each box. Then it says this. <clears throat> if she filled 32 boxes, filled 32 boxes, how many marbles did she pack in all? Okay? Now, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to have a number of groups times the number in, and I'm going to pay attention to this keyword, each group. Okay? The groups here is a box. This word number of groups, where it's going to be boxes. Okay? The number in each that group word is box. Okay? Could be cars, could be anything. Well, this one happens to be boxes. Okay? Equals T for total. Right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Pause that for just a second. Okay, back to this. So T stands for total, and if you want to write that down, you can. Okay, so the number of groups times the number in each group. Now, as I said, the groups is boxes in this one, okay? So how many boxes do we have based on our information? 32. 32. So 32 is my number of boxes or number of groups times number in each group or each box. How many do we have in each box? 25. 25. So if I have 32 boxes, it would be like this. If I had 32 of them, now I'm not going to make 32 of them, okay? There's my... Pretend like 32 boxes. And I have how many in each box? 25. So it would be like 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 32 times. So it would be 32 times 25. And 32 times 25 equals my total. So 32 times 25 is going to end up equaling $800. So how many marbles did she pack in all? 800 marbles in all. You see how we did that? All right, let's try another problem. <clears throat> Here's what it says. Movie tickets sold for $5 each. Wow, that's great. $5 for movie tickets. Okay, then it says this. The total ticket sales were $820. Um, total ticket sales. All right, movie tickets were $5 each. All right, now help me. A while ago I showed you a pattern. Something times something equals the total. Do you remember what these were? Factors? Yeah, that's good, yeah, but in the word problems that we were talking uh, about. 25 and 25 and 32, 30. but what was 25 and what was 32 about? Marbles and boxes. Okay, so the number of groups and the number in each group. Do you remember that? Okay, so if I know that the movie tickets are $5 each, do you hear that keyword? Each, I know that this $5 goes in this one, the number in each group, $5. Okay? But here's what they told me at the end, is that the total ticket sales was $820. Keyword? Total. Total. So, what I'm trying to figure out is the number of tickets. Tickets is my group this time. Tickets. So, how many tickets did we sell if they were $5 each and my total amount sold was $820 worth? How am I going to answer this problem? So, again, this goes back to what we learned a long time ago when you used to have a missing factor. Remember that? So, N times $5 equals 820. Do you 
Do you remember how we should do this? Times 5 equals 820. You line it up. What well, am I going to need here to then multiply it by 5 to get $820? A bigger number or a smaller number? A smaller? I need a smaller number here. Very good. In order to make a smaller number, I'm either going to multiply or divide because that's the inverse operation. So in order to make smaller, I... Divide. Divide. Multiplying makes things large. Okay? Dividing makes it smaller. So what am I going to divide? 820 divided by 5. So let's do that. 820 divided by 5. And I get 6. I'm just going to do this real quick. 164 is my answer. So how many tickets? How many number of tickets? 164 tickets sold at $5 a piece. And the total amount of sales was? 820. So our final answer is 164. You feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. All right, last problem. You're going to help me out with this one. Get two, okay? 600 new cars were delivered to the dealer. 600 new cars delivered to the dealer. Maybe I should write that down, but I think it's okay. Let's see if that's enough information. And it was delivered by 40 trucks. 40 trucks delivered these. Okay? And it says this. Each truck carried the same numbers of number of cars. How many cars were delivered by each truck? Did you hear that word? Each? Okay. So right here I've got the number of groups times the number of each group equals the total. Now, Help me figure out where does this 600 go, where does this 40 go? Alright? Um, it looks like here the group is going to be um, the cars, don't you think? Alright? So, um, let's, let's stop for just a minute, I guess cars and trucks, so let's look at that in just a second. Okay, but answer this for me. Here's what the question is. How many cars were delivered in each truck? Did you see each? That's the question. So that's the one we don't know about. Did you hear that? So this is what we don't know. So I'm going to leave an in there. But the rest of the information we should be able to fill in because they're asking us this question. How many is in each group? Each. This is the each spot. Okay? So let's see. How many cars are there total? 600. 600 total. See that? T total. Okay, and all we've got left is 40 trucks. So basically, we've got 40 trucks that took X amount of cars to equal 600 total cars. How am I going to figure out this answer? Do I need a bigger number here or a smaller number here to then multiply it by 40 to equal 600? Smaller. Smaller, and how do you get smaller? When you divide. Got, divide. So we're going to take 600, divide it by 40. And we end up getting 15. All right? 15 is our answer. So 40 trucks took 15 cars in each of their truck and took 600 to the place. See how that worked? Feel like you understand it? Uh -huh. That's lesson 13.